had an idea of shooting the tree if there was any mist in the background. But as you can see, it's full of people and canoes and it doesn't look like I'm going to get a shot there. Uh, might come back to this later on, see how it goes. Uh, but I think for now we'll just go along the lake edge and look, see if we can find anything. Uh, just looking at this here behind me now, I think I'll do a portrait here of black and white of this leading to the trees and the mountains in the background. Uh, and I'll do it on a ten stopper. Getting a bit pissed off right now. Uh, Trying to set up, but it's raining and uh, everything's getting wet. So I'm just going to hang on here till the rain clears a bit. Oh, fuck. Uh, I've come back to the car. Um, getting pissed off up there. Uh, so I'll come back to the car, clean the filters again, and then wait for this shit to clear up, and then go back out and get that shot. Because uh, I want that shot. Uh, I think it'll be pretty good. So we're just going to wait now until it dries off a bit. Uh, according to the weather, there wasn't any rain today. But hey, we live in Wales, so anything's possible. So with this, um, I've done one at f11, one at f9, uh, trying different exposures. Uh, I've gone at 30 seconds. So when I came out of the car, it stopped raining, and now it's starting to rain again. So now I'm going to have to go back to the car, clean the filters and that, and then head to another direction. Yep, I think I've got it there. So back to the car, clean the shit up, and then find another location. Right then, what we're going to do next is we're going to head up zigzag, that's what they call it. It's like a, uh, a zigzag path that takes you up to the quarry. So we're going to walk up there and we're just going to use the wall uh, well I don't know, we're just going to look for a couple of shots on there. Um, I parked my car in the car park, but I ain't paying. Um, I just don't believe, you know when you you live in an area, and why should you pay if you live there? You should be able to park anywhere you want, so probably have a ticket when I go back, but there you go. I don't think you should pay if you're local, so. Anyway, enough of the shit. Uh, we're gonna head up to Zigzag and have a look for some shots using the walls there, something different, and using that as a backdrop. Uh, it stopped raining, so hopefully it'll stop now. Hopefully. Yep, so this is zigzag. I 
seriously need to get fit. You know, as you get older, your knees really feel it. Whew. That's Stolpadden Castle, right behind me there. You can see it in the trees. I think the last time I came up here must have been over 20 years ago but it just looks so different I don't ever remember it being like this strange now if I remember rightly <coughs> years ago uh, zigzag was originally behind that wall uh, so this must be new because I don't recognize it so I am right zigzag was over that wall so they must have closed it for some reason and built this so we'll just follow this up and see where it takes us I'm right. This gap in the wall is going to take us onto the old path. Got a bit of a gap in the wall here. Um, I'm just thinking if I can use the slate for the lower part of the frame and the right side of the frame and have the castle in the centre and perhaps a 10 star filter just to get some uh, action in the clouds so this is what I was thinking of so I'm going to try this shot so I'll set up and see how it works I think it would be pretty interesting, something different Um, what I decided to do with that is uh, I didn't go for the 10 stopper uh, I think with this image it would be best just to bracket because of this slate wall is so dark um, it's kind of one of them in images where you need a good high dynamic range so that's what I've gone for with this I've done your normal exposure and bracketed it 2 plus 2 minus so We'll see how that works. As I'm walking up here, I'm just getting a load of ideas now. I'm just thinking now of a portrait style shot here using these walls going down takes you down into the lake and it follows into these mountains and I am going to go for a 10 stop on this just to streak them clouds uh, so this is this is what I had in mind uh, you see the walls lead you straight down into the lake then your eye into these mountains and the clouds above So we'll set up and uh, have a go at doing this one. So with this again, uh, trying different exposures, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, just to see what we get. Actually, I think I'm going to put a soft grad just to darken the sky on that one. So 
So with that one, I put, with a 0.9 soft pad on it, I've gone for a 30 second exposure. So that's given me a really good image. So I'm happy with that one. Uh, well, I think we're at the top here now. So we'll just go to the top, maybe find one more, one or two more images, maybe. And then I think that'll be it for the day, I think. <sighs> There's just shots to be had anyway, honestly. Yeah, this one's just telling me, shoot me. Same portrait style, same 10 stop, definitely. So, we're at the top of zigzag. Yeah, I'm trying to see another image. Use the side of this hut. Mountains there, 10 stop. Yeah, I'd like to give that a go and see how that works. Okay, um, tried a few exposures with the 10 stop on that one. Um, F11. I'm gonna. It's like so 100 now. Shit. Bastard. Yeah, sorry. I nice. saw midges. Midges are here now. Right. I'm also going to try and bracket this. So, my F11 ISO 100, one hundred one one hundredth of a second. So it'll be one underexposed, and I think I'll do two overexposed. Let's just uh, have a look around the corner here. Anyway, as you notice, I do love black and white images there's something it's just something about it really stands out to me and I think one of the best places you can do monochrome is the slate quarry just because there are so many shades of grey uh, black and white really works yeah So, just taking a walk around here. Don't think I've been this way before. Just to see if there's anything around this corner. Right then, for my last shot today, uh, I'm not going to go black and white with this one. Um, you've got this coloured little bushy thing here. Uh, I have no idea, I don't know anything about flowers, what they're called. Uh, you've got one hell of a backdrop. You've got the power station just behind here and the mountain range and some nice dark clouds. So 
I think with this one I'm just going to put a 0.9 soft grad. Um, I don't know, we'll try different things just to see what works best. So, there you go. Um, what I did with this shot uh, was bracketed it. Um, and gone for colour this with this one, obviously, because the uh, plant in the foreground just uh, kind of works. So I think that's it for today. Uh, hasn't turned out to be bad at all. Thought it was just going to rain all day. Um, I think I've bagged quite a few good shots, hopefully. So that's it for today then. So until next time, thanks for watching and bye.